So we have two beams. A means ABC and other B means C, D, E, F, G. Where we have support? One support at A. One support is at E and one support at G. So how many reaction for this beam? Two GY and one reaction at AY. Okay, mark the point ABC. We want to find out AY. <coughs> so show AY. So hold it at C and is force is applied like this. It will go this way. So this point will move upward. This value was given or not given? Make it 10 kilo Newton meter. This one is AY. Keep your pen like this. Hold your pen at C and apply the force at this point. It will rotate like this. So this one is rotation. Rotation is clockwise. Rotation is clockwise. This distance is 2 meter. This distance is 2 meter. This angle is same as del theta. <coughs> At this point we have moment. So don't show any linear displacement. For moment you have to show angular displacement. So what is del theta? Del theta is same as tan theta. So this one is delta A. So what is delta A divided by? This is 2 plus 2 is what? 4. Now once we got delta theta, delta theta will show the forces. This one is moment. Moment is 10. AC. So apply principle of virtual work. Of virtual work. Total work done is 0. Ay into delta A, they are acting in same direction, so this is positive quantity. This one is clockwise and this one is also clockwise. Clockwise, clockwise is positive. Equal to 0. So Ay. Delta A is 4 times delta theta plus 10 times delta theta. Delta theta, delta theta cancel. So Ay equals to minus 2.5. So first answer is over. Now I have to solve for Ey. When you have to solve for Ey, you have to rotate about G. And when you have to solve for Gy, you have to rotate about E. But this part you have to do for entire beam. So we will start for this part first, where two reactions are there. And then we will think of this one. Draw only this part. Now decide. You want to find out Ey? So first show Ey. Now if you have confirmed that you have to find out Ey, then see the solution. Ey you have to find out, so rotate about G. So hold your pen like this at point G. Apply this force. Check that it will go like this. Show the vertical displacement at those only where we have a forces. One force at D, so we will define del D. One force at F, so we will show this one. And you have to find out EY, so we will show this. And one value I will show for delta C. So what is the value of del theta? Del F divided by 2. Del E divided by 4 del D divided by 5 del C divided by 6 this dotted line check your solution we have one support at A so no rotation above A it means that you have to keep this point as it is C already move upward so join C to point A. At point B, we have moment. We'll show angular displacement like this. Let's call this one is del phi. 
so this one is also del phi remember this del phi this del phi is what counter clockwise this one is 2 meter this one is 2 meter so one equation you have to write down for del phi del phi is is it del c divided by 4 Established relation between del phi and del theta. For this, we have one term is del c and we have one term is del c. So, from first term, we have del c equals to 6 times del theta and from this one is 4 times del phi. So, we get del phi equals to 6 by 4 is 1.5 of del theta. So that is the relation between del phi and del theta. Next, go on showing the forces. We have couple 10 kilo newton meter. Remember this one is clockwise. We don't have any force at C. But we have force at D. Now apply principle of virtual work. Positive sign you have to use if you have same direction. Here del phi is anti-clockwise and 10 <coughs> is clockwise. So this one is 10. But sign is what? Minus 5 and del D sign is minus EY delta E sign is positive. 10 and del F sign is negative. So we have minus 10. We can replace del phi by 1.5 minus 5. Del D we can replace from this term that is 5 multiplied by del theta. Delta E we can write as 4 times del theta. Then del F. Del F is 2 multiplied by del theta. Del theta. Answer is positive. 15 kN. So this answer is 15. Now come to the question first. If you want to solve for GY, you have permission to rotate rotation about what? E. If your support is in between, then half part will come up and remaining part will go down. Go up. G will go up, D will come down and C will also come down. So we can write del theta as del G divided by 4, del F divided by 2, del D divided by 1, del C divided by 2. So first part is over. Now to start with second part, you have to first draw dotted line. Problem definition. You have no permission for the displacement at A now. It means that the remaining part will rotate about which point? A point. C already moved downward. So join this C with this point. We are already here. Now we are turned to this side. This angle is del phi. This time my rotation is clockwise. This distance is 2 meter. This distance is 2 meter. So my value of del phi is del c divided by 4. Now we want to find out relation between del c and del phi. So we equate this delta c which is common to both. So del c equal to 2 times del theta. 4 times del phi. So del phi is 0.5 times del theta. That is the important relation between two angles. Now Start showing the forces. 
we have 10 kilo newton meter moment we have 5 kilo newton acting at d apply principle of virtual work this 10 is basically what clockwise this one is also clockwise 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 positive so this is 10 multiplied by del phi we have no load at c so forget about c phi u and del d they are acting in same direction 10 and del f they are acting in opposite direction del g and g y acting in same direction So this one is 10. What is del phi? Del phi is 0.5 times of del theta plus 5 times. Del D is same as 1 time del theta minus 10. Del F is 2 times del theta. plus g y and del g del g is 4 times del theta 5 answer is positive so this one is 2.5 chalo check karte downward kitna hai 15 aur upward kitna ja raha hai is it 15 solution is correct how much is downward 5 plus 10 15 and how much is this one is downward, this one is upward. 15 plus 2.5 minus 2.5.